Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a quick recap of the Vegas Golden Knights 4-3. Exciting shootout win that Nicholas Waugh was able to get the ceiling goal in the shootout to win, as well as Shea Theodore potted the other goal in the shootout. It was a 2-0 shootout a win in terms of the shootout goals, a 4-3 overall win for the Vegas Golden Knights in the shootout, and it was a great game overall by Shea Theodore, who, if they counted shootout goals, would have a hat trick. But he had two blasts, one on the power play, and one being the game-tying Mr. Clutch blast at the end of the game that was practically on the power play because they pulled uh, Robin Leonard there, <clears throat> and then he was able to blast it from the point. Now, the only bugaboo in this game for the Vegas Golden Knights was the one goal Leonard allowed, you could tell he won it back, that Kiefer Bellows was able to score. It was also after a turnover that Zach Parise was able to get the Bellows. And then uh, Paggio was just not guarded at all in front of the net as Wallstrom was able to claim the puck behind the net, um, where Andres Lee was able to get an assist on that as well as Paggio was able to score. But minus those two things, the Vegas Golden Knights pushed the pace, I thought, and had the better end of the bigger chances in this game when it came to getting it done. And then their other goal was the goal that just was fortunately ended up going off of, I believe it was McNabb's skate. And then uh, Brock Nelson was able to score, which is what tied it up after March or so scored from an odd angle. That was probably a goal that Sorokin would want back because it was on a rebound and it was on a strange angle. Nice job by March or so to be able to get it accurately on net, but not necessarily the best job at guarding the post and the angle by the goaltender. And then, of course, like I said, Theodore Blais to one and their other goal. Uh, was, oh no, well, yeah, Theodore blasting both. And then in the shootout, it was really Robin Leonard stepped up after having a squeaky goal let in by Kiefer Bell on Kiefer Bellows. He was able to step up and play like a top-notch goaltender because it's been inconsistent for him this year, but everybody knows the capability this guy has. He, we saw it when he was up with the Islanders, obviously the opponent today, when he was able to get hot at time. He has the ability to really use his frame well and be a great netminder. He showcased that in the shootout. He was a little bit leaky in the game at time, but he also made some great saves, like the save um, that he just scraped off of his glove. Otherwise, this game could have been different as well. So I thought he played a solid overall game. I would give him the third star of the game because you stepped up in the shootout big time, which is a skills competition, and he was the better of the two in the skills competition. As it comes to the first star of this game, that's going to be obvious. That's Shea Theodore. Uh, the second star of this game, I am I would just give it to because he, he was buzzing all around the ice as well. Um, Jonathan Marchessault will get the second star of this game, so we go Rob Leonard, Marchessault, and then obviously Shea Theodore, and then Nicholas Waugh uh, sealed the deal in the shootout, so he can get thrown in there as an honorary mention as the fourth guy, but this has been a reaction to a great game by the Vegas Golden Knights. They had the better of the chances, in my opinion, where the Islanders played a very good game. They're still a fun team to watch, even though they just have a mediocre record right now. Barry Trotz's team's always play competitive, always play well, and they're starting to get guys back, so we'll have to see. Maybe they can do a little Vancouver run, uh, obviously not getting the new head coach, but just go on a little bit of a run. Played Vegas very well. Vegas had to take it all the way to a shootout, but they're able to get a win because of Shea Theodore and Nicholas Waugh. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the rest of the hockey until the break. And also, so people that didn't check out my last video, cross-border games are postponed to after the break. Peace out, everybody.